Well, today's a beautiful snowy day, so I thought it would be a good day to make my Aunt Jessie's peanut butter fudge. And this makes a nice holiday gift. You can put it in a bag or box it real pretty, or put it in aluminum foil, or any sort of decorations you want to come up with. I'm not sure how I'm going to do mine, or I may just save it here. So, let me get started by reading the ingredients. Three cups of white sugar, three quarter cups of butter, which equals one stick plus four tablespoons, two third cups of evaporated milk, one cup of peanut butter, one and seven ounces of marshmallow, which I use half of this marshmallow container. This will give me two batches of fudge and a teaspoon of vanilla. You wanna mix the sugar, the butter, and the milk until it reaches a full boil. I've already got the sugar and the butter in here. And then you wanna reduce it to medium heat for five minutes. Then remove from the pan and beat until everything's melted. What I do is I put my marshmallow in, in the mixer with my bread dough hook and I put the peanut butter, so I'm all ready, and the vanilla. So I'm all ready to go. So I'm gonna bring you back. I just need to go get one more utensil and we'll get started. Okay, we're back. I just wanted to get the container of two third cups of milk and that's evaporated milk. So we've got the sugar and the butter in here we're gonna put the two thirds cups of evaporated milk in there, okay? And next, this is gonna go on the stove and it's gonna boil, but I'm just gonna move this for a minute and I'm gonna show you what I do so I'm all ready. What I do is here's a cup of creamy peanut butter and I spray the inside of my measuring cups when I'm doing something, and it takes out whatever you got a whole lot better, like molasses, peanut butter, honey, anything like that. You just spray the inside of the cup, and it will come out so, so much easier, just like that. Well, my grandmother's with us while we're baking today. I've got her spoon. I always like to take her on my baking adventures. So here's my little spatula that I'm going to use, and here's my fluff. And I'm going to use about a half a container of this. And again, what I did is I sprayed this. You want to spray it just a little bit. And you can see how easy everything will come off. The fluff just comes right off just like that. And this looks just about rounded off, just about half. It's hard to measure, but I'm gonna call that just a little bit more. I'm gonna call that about half out of the container. So that's done right there. I may make another batch today. I'm not quite sure yet what I'm going to do. So we're gonna blend this up and let's get started. Let's see if O'Nelly's gonna work today. I gave it a trial run before I started. You can use your, actually, I'm not quite sure. I think I'll change my blade. I use both of them. And this sometimes works really great, but oh, I paid so much for my, for my, um, mixer top i'm going to use my mixer because that'll be a, a lot easier to clean this is my mixer head that i talked about that i spent 40 dollars for and i've never used this on here so i want to give it a try and see how she's going to work just like that okay so we're going to mix this up Oops. Let me, you can't see the bowl. Let me get it up here so you can see really, really well here. Move everything. 
want you to get right in where all the action is. You just move this over a little bit. I don't want you to miss anything. Just like that, I had oh, just a little bit of milk. Okay. I'm gonna mix it up. All we're gonna do is mix it all up so when the hot stuff comes, it's already done. It's a lot easier. We're gonna mix it up just like that. I'm, that's all done. Now I'm gonna take this over to the stove and I'm gonna start boiling this. And when I get to the boiling point, I'll bring you back. Okay, this is mixture's getting ready to come to a full boil here. And once it comes to a full boil, I'm gonna turn it down for a medium boil for five minutes. I use a small potato masher, that's what I use. You can see the bubbles coming around. This smells really good. All this sugar melting in with the butter. Just like this. It's uh, coming real good. It's just about there. Just want to show you, so if you decide to make this, you know what it's going to look like. It's just about there. There, we got her at a boil. And we're gonna get a good boil here. We're gonna turn it down to a medium boil for five minutes. So I'm gonna bring this my heat down to temp for five minutes. I'm gonna set my timer. And I'll bring you back and show you the next step. Hey, I'm back. I want to show you, and there's the mixture right there, just got done. I'm going to set it aside because at this point is where I'm going to put the vanilla in. And today I'm using pure organic vanilla right here. And it comes from Mexico. It's a Mexican vanilla, and it's really, really good. It's right here. Okay, so we're going to put a teaspoon of this in right now just like that and we're going to stop this one more time and what I do is I pour I pour this as I'm putting it in just like that just like that I'm gonna get my spatula just a little bit. I want you to be able to see. I have a little bit more to get in. The pan is very warm. Get this all in so it's nice and creamy. Okay. That's all in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray my spatula that I'm going to use. Wipe it off here. I'm going to give it a light spray. Okay. This here is mixed really well. Look at that. Look how creamy that is. It's just beautiful. Let me bring this down. One thing, this beater is going to be good to um, take off and clean. Now, if Ray was here, I would give him the beater. But that's one good thing about this. See how creamy this is? And this sets up just beautiful. You want to kind of hurry up because it does kind of set quickly. You don't want to be fooling around too long. Yeah, just like that. Get everything out of the way. Let me take this off here. <clears throat> like I said, I'm having all, all sorts of issues with this thing. It's all the way down. 
there. Then I want to pour it. Let's see if I can push this over. Again, you want to work quickly. I've got the pan here sprayed, and then I put parchment paper in. Do you want to pour it? Put it in real quick because it doesn't take long. It starts sitting right up. Oh boy, does this smell good. Ray is gonna be happy. He's been looking forward to this and his boss loves my fudge. So I'll probably end up making a batch for him, but probably later on in the week. I don't feel like doing it. I've been up for 24 hours. I had to take my son to the airport in a terrible storm this morning and it was, uh, I started at two o'clock and I didn't get home till 6.30. It was a four hour trip just in travel. You can see how quickly it's gonna set up, but I'm just gonna go like this. Just like this, oh, there's some fluff that didn't mix in. It's okay, we'll mix it like that. Look at this, it's already hardening. It's gonna make beautiful fudge. Just pat it down like this. Just like that. Sometimes I take uh, wax paper and I'll push it down. I'll show you what I mean here. My draw of papers in here. I just take a piece of wax paper, fold it up like this, and just lightly, lightly push it but it's actually setting up and forming really nice. I don't really have to do that. If you wanna smooth out anything, this is the time to, to smooth it out. Probably shouldn't have smoothed it out, but that's, it's okay because when I cut it, I sometimes flip it up on the other side or flip it on the side. But there you go, folks, right there. It's gonna be beautiful, creamy peanut butter fudge. And this is my Aunt Jessie's recipe. It'll be in the description box below. And I'll bring you back as soon as it's set up and I cut it and I'll show you how I'm gonna do it. We'll be back. Okay, folks, I'm, I, what I did is I put this in the refrigerator for three hours, or you can sit it out in the cold. Like here in Maine, it's very cold. It's. Uh, only like 18 degrees right now. What I did is I sprayed the inside of this nine by nine, and then I put parchment paper in. And what you do, see it lifts right out, just like that. The pan was sprayed, and it had the parchment paper, just like this. You can turn it over, whichever side you want to use, that side or this side, and I think I'll use this side. Looks pretty. And you can use a big knife and just cut, or you can use a pizza cutter and cut. And I will show you both. Try to get my hand out of the way. I want to make sure I'll show you one of each. Okay, that's the cut with a knife. I'm not always straight with a pizza cutter, but it works pretty slick, just like this. So in case you've never used one before, there you go, right there. I have a plate here with my little gingerbread. And I have some little, like, tea muffin papers. And I'm gonna, use, I'm gonna alternate red and green. And I'll just do a few up and you can see what they look like. And I won't bore you with this. Just to give you an idea, I'll do four of them. Just like this. Half of this will be going to raise work and the other half will be staying here with us. It's 
I'm used to cutting the whole thing up and then dividing it. So it's a little, little hard doing it this way, but yeah, I can do it. I can do anything. There's two and there's two on the end, but I'll get two more over here. Be a lot easier if I do it like this. There. It's easier when you cut it all up. And then I have my little plate of uh, my little um, pie plate snowman. And we're just gonna stick it in just like that. And go down. Look at that. Oh, it's so moist. It's just really, really yummy. And it fits perfect in these little muffin papers. And there you have it right there. And I'll bring you back when it's all. Okay, folks, this is what I got out of the fudge right here. I got two nice plates. Now, just look how creamy that looks. This is really delicious. If you use this recipe, you will thank me because it is so good. I just want to move these up a little bit. I filled these two containers right here. This says, a little help from my friend. And what I did is I filled these each with fudge like that. Then I took a napkin right here and I just folded it like this to put inside just to give it a little pretty cushion. I'll take a little tape and tape the sides. I did that to both of them. So what I want to show you, and then Ray has a snack before supper. I already had two, shame on me. But I want to show you. You take a napkin. This is one that I used. It was a full napkin. Okay. If anybody wants to know where I got these, I got them at the Christmas tree shop. Isn't that a beautiful scenery? And what I did, you just go in and you cut just like this. And what I've done in the past is I've taken a baggie right like this and I've just taken a full, it would be a full napkin like this. And then you put a bow around it and you just give them out to your little, to your friends or my aunts in the nursing, um, like assistant Lisbon nursing home and just to give give a little something to the folks. And all you do is tie a ribbon at the top. I have done that many of times, but I wouldn't use just a little one like this. This is a full size napkin right here. Use at least half or the whole thing, depending how many pieces you're gonna put on it. Just like that. And what you do is you would just put it in like this, put it like that, and then you put a big bow. Again, it all depends how many pieces you want. So I'll use these napkins for supper tonight. Must not be wasting nothing. These I put my fingers on. This is a snack for Ray. So if you like this video, please give me thumbs up because you never know what's going to be on my videos. And you can find me on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook. And Facebook, I'm underneath Maniac Grammy's Homestead. So, again, I hope everybody likes this. Please try it. It's really good. And have a great day. God bless.